Howdy, friends. This is Hank Williams. I've been down here in uh, Phoenix Springs for about the last three or four days visiting a very good friend of mine and a friend of yours, too. A man that I had the pleasure of working with when I first started to picking and singing years ago. He's one of the finest guys in the world. Neil McCormick, huh? Hiring Hank, raising him like he was his own son, and playing on all of Hank's first hits stands alone for legendary. But both Neil and Hank were Cherokee Indians, Neil being born on the reservation in Wing, Alabama. This is where the legend is just beginning. Back then, Indians found it difficult to work, even as musicians, in some places. Well, uh, how were you troubadour was back when I started, you know, uh, Indian couldn't stay in Georgia. He'd go out for 10 days, he had to have a permit. But I got that little bottle, now I can go out and stay when I get ready and come back when I get ready. Uh, I'm Indian, you know, but they didn't know where it was. Uh, I was uh, Indian, a uh, uh, highway, they didn't know it was different. Most of them didn't, so I just called it highway troubadour, it just went on. We had a good band, and they, they didn't have no trouble getting a job from them, that was one thing. The band traveled around the country in limousines and then buses, playing barn dances, honky-tonks, and radio programs. Now the extraordinary part of his story. Back before the band, Neil was attracting large crowds on street corners with a unique instrument. Upon some investigation, it just might be that Neil could have invented the first electric guitar, using parts from a Model T Ford. Well, I got an idea. I was playing theaters, you know, and shows out on the road. And I found a, a no great phone pickup that somebody built way back and uh, it had a little coil and a magnet around it and that needle worked that's where he got the music off now you see it was going on nothing the needle just vibrating so I got the idea from that if it'd get off that needle he'd get off the string and I built me a pickup for a guitar see that's where I started out and I built the most out of an old Model T automobile and, and it wore out of a coil and the magnets off the old flywheel, but I made it work, and it worked good. It was just real loud. Which and was that? that was back in, uh, I believe, 20, maybe 29 or 30. My person I built was just as loud as it could be. You could just knock walls off with anybody, because I put the magnets up close to them, nailed it, and went through there, and I'd pick up, and, and it did tell the news, you know. And I carried the first electric guitar in WSM, and it went in there. And every time I'd hit a loud note, it'd knock them off in the air. They, they couldn't keep me on the wind. So I told them then, though, that they'd better get it ready. Because, well, where I stopped at, I had a crowd. I said, this electric business is going to come in. Then I got it is for sure that he invented the first four-sided steel guitar because he used hindsight and got a patent. And, uh, I got on some network shows, and I said, well, I've got to fix something. So I figured out to fix it square like this, you know, where it would turn over and over, you see. And all you had to do is roll it, get another tuning. And it made it handy. See, I put that thing on there. That's off of an old Chevrolet. Chevrolet light switch, see, that is right there. Later, Neil built three studios in Nashville. He played and associated with all the top performers from Gene Autry and Roy Acuff to Elvis Presley. His recollections go on and on about his life. Not all my life, but part of my life, all, all up to down. 